लेट्स सी द इफेक्ट ऑफ वेट ऑफ पुलिस ऑन मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज वेलोसिटी रेशियो एंड एफिशिएंसी नाउ केयरफुली सी इन द प्रीवियस डेरिवेशन वी हैव नॉट कंसीडर्ड द इफेक्ट ऑफ द वेट्स ऑफ दिस मूवेबल पुलिस हियर वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ पुलिस फिक्स्ड एंड मूवेबल सो फिक्स्ड पुलिस आर फिक्स्ड एट वन पॉइंट दे आर जस्ट रोटेटिंग दे आर नॉट मूविंग सो इफेक्ट ऑफ वेट ऑफ दिस फिक्स्ड पुलिस वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग but here movable pulleys are having some weight so this weight is acting in the downward direction and load is acting in the downward direction so when you are applying effort at this point here you are not only making the load or not only taking the load in the upward direction but also taking the effect of weight also taking the weight of the pulley in the upward direction if these pulleys are very heavy then you have to apply more force in order to raise the load as well as this movable pulleys so now we will see the effect of the weight of this movable pulleys now if you will see for example the here we have n number of pulleys so for n number of pulleys n number of tensions are able to take the weight of the pulley and the load so load and weight is acting in the downward direction and n number of tensions acting in the upward direction after that in the effort point effort is acting in the downward direction and in the string for that tension is balancing so effort is equals to tension now carefully see mechanical advantage is equals to load upon effort load value we have that is nt minus w and here nt minus w over effort now here t is equals to effort so replace this tension with the effort so here it is replaced okay so here we got it as now divide separately mechanical advantage formula we got n effort upon effort minus weight of the pulleys upon effort so here we got mechanical advantage as n minus weight of the pulleys upon effort so this is the mechanical advantage formula when we are considering the weight so now mechanical advantage we have n minus weight of pulley upon effort so what about the velocity ratio in case of effect of any pulley the displacement of load and effort will not change so even though you are taking the effect of pulley the displacement part will not change so velocity ratio will not change velocity ratio will remain same for n number of pulleys velocity ratio we got it as n now we have to calculate the efficiency efficiency we have mechanical advantage over velocity ratio now just divide here mechanical advantage over velocity ratio efficiency n minus w upon e divided by n just separately divide it so here we got it as efficiency that is 1 minus weight of this movable pulleys divided by n number of pulleys into the effort effort which we are applying now if you want to increase the efficiency how you will increase the value of efficiency just by decreasing the weight of the pulley so in order to increase the efficiency of the pulley you have to take the pulleys as light as possible clear so here we have efficiency is 1 minus weight of this movable pulley over number of pulleys into effort now when you want to increase the efficiency for greater efficiency the pulleys in the lower block should be as light as possible and the friction between them should be minimized then only we are able to get a more efficiency for a block and tackle system clear